Okay, so we are done with 1.1, uh, and that's what I covered last time. And we are now on 1.2. Remember again that 1.1.11, here you have to create uh, RFR to 2000 dash um, uh, this pound signs. So uh, pound sign has to be replaced with your own data number. Uh, I'm currently using 22. Uh, yours could be, you know, uh, two, zero 02 or zero 03 or zero 09 or 10, 12, 14, something like that. And uh, uh, remember that uh, gross weight is a bit different, 9,000 grams. So that you have to do. And then you can now move on to step 1.2. That's where create the reach front commuter wheel sub assembly. So this is a semi finished product and that we need to create uh, for this system. So um, if you just you know, move, follow a long way, that is following this uh, um, logistics screen and double click on that and you go to production and material management, either, either one of them. So if you go to production and master data and material master, material, and create, and here you have a bunch of command. You have a bunch of command here. And um, the function that we are gonna use is semi-finished products, so MMB1. If you remember last time, you know, I already put them under favorites folder, right? So I already have this MMB1 semi-finished product creation uh, function there, so I can use that. So I'll give you a few uh, moments uh, for you to log on and, and uh, catch up with. And let me know if you guys are ready. Did you guys move, log on to Citrix yet? It's still loading for me. Yeah, it takes some time. Okay, mine loaded. Okay, then you have to log on to SAP. Yeah, I got to where you're at now. Very and good. MMB1 is the correct. Yep, this is the function. So you don't want to use MMF1 or MMR1 but you have to use MMB1. So, or you can double click on this, or if you know the function name, you can just type MMB1 here and then uh, click on this check mark. Then now you are going to be on this uh, slide, uh, on this window where you can type the SAP information. And I'm going to type TRWA2000 dash your product or data number, right? So uh, this pound sign, so mine is 22. So I'm gonna enter that. And then I'm gonna select the retail industry. It's automatically selected in my case. If not, you have to choose yours there and click on this check mark. So we are creating this uh, uh, new semi-finished product, TRW2000. And uh, uh, we are going to use that. So the same thing that we have to do be as we did before. So basic data one, MRP one, two, three, and then work scheduling data and click on check mark. And then you have to now select the number of the uh, plant. We have DL22, so that's my data. Right, you can choose that. And then click on this check mark. Then now we are on the next page 
and notice that I said there are many dimensions of of a product and we have now basic data one and so forth. Uh, so we are entering basic data information for this semi-finished product. And uh, TRW A2000-22 and it's a tour aluminum wheel assembly commuter um, data number. So I'm gonna write tour, touring aluminum wheel assembly commuter and then the data number is 22 in my case and you will have your own data number and then i i am going to enter a base unit of measure each right so this is a discrete product it's not continuous product which is not pound or kilogram so we are going to enter each and then we are working with bicycle division and mature group is not bike. So this one you have to care for. Mature group is not bike, but it's wheel. So you have to go there. Um, so let's type wheel. Something's not right. Okay, wheel. And then uh, the gross weight is 3,185 and 3,185. And this is not kilogram, but gram. So you just uh, type in gram. And if you have done so, you click on this check mark, then you have created basic data and you are on next data, next dimension, that's MRP1 dimension. Here we are going to enter material requirement planning uh, data. And we start with MRP type, that's a PD. Um, so let's see, check what PD means. So PD is just MRP. We before with MRP1, we chose method, master production schedule uh, fixing time type is one. The M1 was the choice before. Now this is a sub assembly and uh, it's, we are going to use MRP. Uh, uh, so that's uh, signified by PD. So that's why we are putting it over there. MRP controller, we have only one or MRP controller. Sometimes you can have uh, more in real situation. And last size is lot for lot. Lot for lot is then, um, EX is the symbol for that, lot for lot. Uh, sometimes we use different way of, uh, of prod production. Uh, monthly lot size or weekly lot size, daily lot size, it can differ, but uh, we are using EX, uh, lot for lot, regular one. And minimum lot size, uh, in other words, how many do we create uh, at a time, right? If you, once you, uh, start to produce one uh, set of of uh, this semi-finished product or wheels, how many do you produce? At the minimum, you are going to produce 12, 15 at a time, right? So once you start to produce one thing, you run the equipment and assembly line. So you have to, you know, make a certain amount of uh, materials at a time, otherwise, your uh, production will be inefficient. So that's why it's a 15. And let's click on OK. And now we are on MRP2. We are done with MRP1 section. We moved on to MRP2. And uh, we see uh, that uh, procurement type is E. It's already there. So let's see what that is. Uh, e is in-house production, F is external procurement or no procurement or both procurement type. Uh, in our case, it's uh, in-house production only. So that's why procurement type is E, you are not getting anything uh, somewhere else. And then we also look at the in-house production. How long does it take for you to make? Sometimes, you know, um, on equipment, if you are making, it can take uh, a month or 15 days or a week. But in this case, it's uh, not that complex complex uh, uh, product. 
So it takes only one day to make it. And scheduler margin, again, uh, you can have many uh, in real situation, but in our uh, plant, there's only one scheduler. So that code was entered. And safety stock, how many do you have to carry in case of surge in demand or uh, disruption in supply? How many should you have? And it says it's 30, right? So 30 is already ready and uh, you can move there. Um, so if you have done that, now you can click on this check mark, then you will move to the third dimension of MRP, that's MRP3. Um, MRP3 let, it says that uh, you are going to determine the strategy group. Uh, strategy group, this is uh, uh, determining what kind of uh, production system you are gonna be using, what kind of process you are gonna be using. And we see, if you click on that icon, you see make to stock method and uh, pre-planning with assembly, uh, pre-planning uh, without assembly and make to order or assemble or service orders. There are any, many other methods. If you click on again, the uh, icon besides stretch group, you will see that uh, there are many uh, process strategy that you can use, right? So make to order, make to stock, make to assemble or, or you know, uh, it's a there's a planning variance and service orders. So you have a lot of them in there. And you can start uh, with 10, right? 10 is make to stock me method. So you are gonna be using typical make to stock method for this production. And you've done that, click on check mark. Um, that's done. Now availability check. Uh, we have daily requirements, individual requirements, and batches. Uh, daily requirements is, uh, you know, how, how many do you have to have per day? Or individual requirements is, you know, uh, it can be separately ordered. Uh, that's what it means by that. So we choose individual requirements and uh, click on this check mark. Then you are done with MRP3 dimension. Now we move on to work scheduling. Work scheduling is uh, quite simple here. Um, uh, supervisor, production supervisor 000, because we have only one person uh, working for this uh, as a supervisor role. Again, in reality can be many and production schedule profile. Um, and let's see, you know, we have only one that's release and schedule is 10. So uh, click on that. And uh, um, if you have done that, you can save it and you are done with creating semi-finished product TRWA 2000-22. So I saved it, then I'm done with that, right? So uh, we, have, we don't have anything more to create for a semi-finished product and you are done with it. So if you are done, you can just click on exit, then... Wait. Somehow, or you can click on this. Okay, I don't know why my mouse is not working. Now we are on uh, raw material. So uh, we can also create raw materials and you could have created many, many raw materials, but uh, in this exercise, we will go through only two raw material creation. And uh, the first thing is, again, you can go through the direction directory and, and click on raw materials. Uh, creating raw material here is MMR1. So MMR1 can be here, or you can just type here MMR1. Then you can move to the next uh, window where you create that uh, raw material. And uh, um, the name of this is TRTR2000. So I'm gonna create TRTR2000-22. Uh, That's my data number. So I will create these uh, raw materials. And interestingly, now you have a table instead of screenshot, you will have this table. It says you have to create MRP basic data one, MRP one and two and three. Right, that's that only. So if you remember uh, from finished product or semi-finished product, we 
selected not only basic data one and MRP one, two, three, but also work scheduling. However, we don't have work scheduling here, right? There's no option. We just have basic data one, MRP one, two, three, and that's it. And why is that case? Um, you know, if you think about that, I will give you a moment to think about why do you think in raw materials, we don't have uh, work scheduling? Why do we have only basic data one and MRP one to three, and we don't have this option for work scheduling? Well, we're not making the raw materials, right? Very good, very good, uh, Tyler. So that's the, precisely that is the reason. We are not making it, so we don't need to, uh, you know, set that up for our production system because we are just receiving it and uh, uh, we are using that raw materials and putting them into our system. So that's why you don't have work scheduling here. Very good answer. So if you have done that, click on this continue. And again, it's going to be Dallas. You can just type it if you want, uh, DL22 uh, and uh, uh, click on that. And now we are, we are not uh, looking at any screenshot just by looking at this uh, table, we are going to enter the data necessary for us. So material TRTR 2000-22, and I'm gonna write here is touring tire. So this is tire uh, data and RF commuter bike, right? And 22, so that's what it means. So touring bike dash RF commuter 22, that is what uh, we are doing uh, with this data. And now we have basic unit of measure. Again, it's usually each because your product is a, a discrete uh, a product. So that's why we have to enter EA and material group uh, here. You know, before we entered raw material, I'm sorry, wheel and bike. Now we are gonna enter raw material because it's raw material. And the division is bike. This is bike division. And uh, gross weight is a little bit uh, lighter. So uh, 1,090 gram and net weight is the same. And uh, it's a gram. So you indicate that there, then click on check mark. Then you are done with the first dimension. Second dimension, base unit of measure. Base unit of measure. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, second one is MRP1 and we have purchasing group and purchasing group uh, is right here. And you, if you click on this uh, icon, you will see what kind of groups you have. And this corresponds with your uh, buyers. So uh, find your own data number N22, right? That's mine. Uh, in your case, it could be N03 or N22, 24, uh, 16, you know, so it depends on your data number. So. I'm gonna click on N22 and MRP type is PD. Again, PD was a, a, a simple uh, MRP type, right? MRP type, Sim simple and basic MRP type. So that we choose and uh, uh, MRP controller again, uh, it's the same as 000 because there's only one plan, one controller in the plant. And lot size is EX, lot for lot, right? We looked at it before. And minimum lot size is 250, a lot of them, right? Why is that, right? Uh, because you need uh, two tires per uh, per bike, right? So, so and if you are producing you know, 200 or 100 of them per day, then you, you need at least 200. So that's why you have a lot of, uh, a, a lot of them together. So whenever you are importing or receiving your tire, 250 at a time you are ordering. It's kind of like you know the inventory model that we learned. How many do we need to order per uh, lot or per order? That's uh, uh, this um, uh, lot size here. And then if you have done that, now um, uh, you are going to click on the check mark then you are on MRP2, MRP2 dimension, planned delivery time is three. So let's find the planned delivery time. Okay, here it is. So three days. So um, it takes uh, 
three days for you to receive these tires. So you have to, the lead time is three days. So you have to take that into consideration when you are, uh, uh, when you are uh, making your bike and uh, order it properly. And MRP, we learned, you know, all this required date and order date, required date, order date that is going to be uh, manipulated here in schedule, under scheduling. And, uh, okay, so, and then we have schedule margin key is 001 here, schedule margin key, we have only one. So you don't have to worry about that. And safety stock, how many are we going to have? So it says, have 75 of them at a time. Again, it's to mitigate the, the risk in demand and supply. And that's a safety stock, 75 they are going to carry. And if you have done that, click on OK. Now MRP3, availability check 02. So we go to availability check here. Uh, again, then we have O1, O2, CHDR, KP, and we have uh, individual requirements as the option. And uh, a period indicator is uh, uh, M. Um, so period indicator already it's, uh, uh, set as uh, M. Let's see what that is again. Okay. M is monthly, well, W is weekly, and P is period according to fiscal year, T is daily, and so forth. And we are gonna use uh, monthly, so that's why it is M. And if you, have, if you entered it, click on check. And do you want to save your data? Yes, I wanna save the data, right? So if you have done that, your data is saved on the server and uh, you can you know, manage that yourself. So that's uh, MRP3 here. Now, if we go to 1.3.5, it says, be careful to save because if you don't save, uh, you, know, you will not be able to uh, have the data saved and you may have to enter all the data again. So that's why it says that. And now uh, you have to pay attention to 1.3.6. This is an exercise. Now you have to create TRTB1000 dash uh, uh, the data number. In my case, it's 22 and its name is the RRP2 dash 22, right? So the description of that is that. And then you make sure that this is raw material and you have to do the same thing that you did before, except for a few things here. Yeah, so that you have to create right now. Any questions so far? Do you guys have any question? So I'll give you a few minutes to create then TRTV 1000. So I'm gonna go MMR1 raw material and create TRTB1000-22, that's my number, and go there, basic data one, MRP one, two, three, and create that. And this is a Dallas plant for me. You go there and the description is the RF tube dash 22, right? So this is not tire, but tube you are creating. And now um, I wonder, hmm, the weight has to be a little bit different, but the information is not here. So base unit of measure is each and material group is raw material and the division is bike group and gross weight is 10,090. Oh, so this one is, I'm not so sure too. Since it's a tube, it should be lighter, but I don't see the information about that. So I will just enter the same thing. And uh, 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 the weight you need is gram. And then move on to MRP one, MRP group, purchasing group has to be N22 and MRP type is PD. 
Oh, and... I think you're still um, looking at the touring tire. I scrolled down more because I have it on my iPad and it says RF two oh, hundred and twenty. Oh yeah, that was my okay. I got you. So yeah, yeah, I was curious about that. That's one twenty. Yeah, very good. Thank you, uh, Nina. So I will come back and change it a little bit later. Right now, I cannot change. PD MRP controller is zero zero zero, and last size is FX. And um, fixed the last size is 250. So they are producing a lot of them at once. Okay. And MRP2 planned delivery time is again three days. And scheduler is 001. And safety stock, they don't have any safety stock for twos. Interesting, right? And MRP3 is available to check is 02. You don't have to worry about that. Individual requirements and period is monthly again. And click on check mark. And you have to save it first. Yes, I want to save it. So I have just created that. Now, the thing is I made a mistake. Uh, actually, that's the topic of change material master. So let me do it here. So I realized that I made a mistake along the way. At that time, you can use this function called change immediately or MM02. So I'm gonna use this function MM02 and TRT B1022, I made a mistake. Go there, where did you make a mistake? I made a mistake of the uh, weight and it's on the basic data. So I'm gonna go there and it's not 1090, but it's 120 gram, right? So I'm gonna change that. Very good. Okay, I saved it, I made a change. And also if you come to 1.4, it says um, the minimum last size is 250, but it should be 25. It is a lot. And you have to change to uh, 25. So let's go to TRTR2000. TRTR is not TRTB, but TRTR2000-22. And I'm going to go. I'm, to, I'm going to go to um, MRP one data there and DL twenty two and minimum last size was indicated as two hundred fifty. Now you change to twenty five, right? That has to be changed. So I did that. Click on check mark and yes. Then the change was made. Okay, here is a confusing part. So I want you to pay attention here. So I need to make, update this part, um, but view material master data. Okay, so now you did uh, change immediately, but if you come over here, um, display function is over here, right? So display MM03. So I want you to um, click on this MM03, or I will put it up on the favorites here. So MM03 is display what you have done so far. So double click on it. And I want to find out uh, a, a product that I have created so far, right? So how many products have I created uh, that I want to know? For example, I want to know uh, you know, uh, how many products uh, uh, Rocco has created so far. Uh, then I can do that by click on this um, uh, icon. And then I'm gonna go material description and material, right? Here, there's a material and I wanna say, 
I'm going to see this uh, S uh, asterisk key and then and then dash and whatever it finishes with the 22, I will find that, right? That's my data number. So whatever there might be, asterisk key and dash 22, then it will give me all the product that I have created and that ends with the 22, right? So dash 22, this is all the products that I have created so far. I have tube 22, reach front STD 22 and so forth are created. So I have so far five products created and you can do the same. You can check whether you have everything created. So use this function and see what, what's going on, right? So that can be done here. So if I do that again, I go to uh, mature number slash mature description and then go to mature and then I'm gonna use uh, this aster key and then dash and I wanna check um, uh, 21, number 21 and then I'm gonna go there. See, oh, none has been created. I see. Isn't it, isn't it Natalie? Natalie, uh, have you created any yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so I, I can tell. Zero five again. Zero five. Sure. Okay, let's see what happened to zero five. So zero five. He has done everything correct. So he has RFRT 2000, 1000, 1000, TRWA 2000, TRTR 2000. So he has done everything, right? So that's- And is uh, that the screen, the uh, search, is that the app that you want at the end for this lab? Yeah, yeah. So if you show me this, oh, I can truly tell that you have created everything. I think this Marvelous. is a good screenshot to, to give me. Right. So I will do the same thing for uh, what about Brio? Let me see. Uh, everything dash 20. So Brio, <laughs> Brio, you have not done anything yet? What about 02 or 03? 03, no. You could Can try, you try 04. Zero. Zero 04. I have, uh, this is Nina, right? Yes. That's so I have four. So uh, I don't see RFRT 2000. You have not created oh. 2000 yet. Um, what about one zero? So one zero. So everything dash one zero, right? So good job. Very good. Okay, job. cool. <laughs> so if I do this, you know, if I just say everything, then what happens? It's going to give me all the products in there. And there are too many, actually, you cannot display everything. So, so that's uh, a lot. And I don't want to do this. There are so many products in there. So uh, I think um, using a key and then something and everything, right? So then what happens? Something and everything. So asterisk key, something asterisk key and something and everything. So that's not really a good thing to do. Um, if you learned computer science and how to code. So usually ours is one, two, three, four, five, six, dash, dash everything. How did you get to this screen again? Like to look up all of your, like your number? Can you show again, please? Yeah, so what I did was if you um, follow the directory, we used create special before, but now we're not cre using creating function again, but we are using display function. So double click on display and expand, then you have MM03, that's a display current. So I put it up on under uh, favorite, or you can just type MM03, then you will get to uh, the place where you will display material initial screen, right? And here you click on material number slash material description and go to material here, right? So I, I wanna see, um, you know, whoever it might be and uh, I can tell 
What did I do? Uh, uh, yeah, so this is what I did. Yeah, so I say I'm gonna- at 14. 14, I'm gonna look at 14, oh, Esther key and 14. And, you know, I think Abby, she has done everything right, except for this. So RF2, her name is RF2-14, that's confusing. It's supposed to be, um, what is it? It's supposed to be TRTB-1000, but uh, Abby, somehow you use the name RF2-14. It's not correct name, so I would, how do you I cannot change that? the name. Once you create uh, a okay. product, it will be confusing for you. So I encourage you to do it again and use this name TRTV 1000 14. Okay, can I delete the tube? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, just yeah. make it again. And yeah, just make it again. So you will have okay. six products. Okay, guys, are you good? Anyone who, who wants me to check? What page on the instructions is the um, RFRT2000? I it's think it's 1.1.13. One point, one point okay. Oh, 1.1.11. 1 point, 1 point Your IFRT2000. Okay. Thank so you. you're just doing everything over and you are changing uh, net weight to 9,000 and the safety stock is 50 units. Those are the things that you have to be careful. And this bridge front commuter dash, um, the pound sign that you have to do. And replace the pound sign with your own data number. Any question about this? For the, oh, uh... Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at 1.1.1, 1. 1. 1, not 1.1.11. 1. 1. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I got it. Thank you. Good. Any other question? So on the module one, what we have done is we have to create the first halves and rows. In other words, finished product, two finished products, one semi-finished product and two raw materials, right? So uh, two finished product was a regular bike and commuter bike. And uh, 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 one semi-finished semi product was the wheel and two raw material was uh, tire and tube, right? Those are the things that we have created. And if you are doing real business, you will have a lot more products that you will need to create, but you know, we don't have to make this case so complicated. That's why we created only five uh, new products. And if you have done that, now you are done with module one or lab one, and you are ready to uh, jump to uh, lab two. Uh, 